What up, dudes and dudettes? ZR Car here, back again with another video. Hope everybody had an awesome Halloween and ate some of your kids' candy. I know I did. So I just got these uh, kinetic tow ropes off of Amazon. Actually, I've had the bubble rope for a month or two, and I just got the billet 4x4 yesterday. So I thought I'd talk about the differences and why I decided to make a video on them. The billet 4x4 kinetic tow rope kind of looks gray on the Amazon website. And it is, in fact, black. It is advertised as black as well, but... Um, the picture on Amazon definitely makes it look gray. So these ropes are the same price, but they've got a considerable amount of differences. As you can tell, the main difference is the bulkiness. The billet 4x4 is almost twice as, as bulky as the bubber rope. But it almost has twice the to towing strength too. So, there's that. Another thing that I noticed was there's no Velcro strap with the billet 4x4. I think that would definitely reduce the bulkiness a lot. I'll probably try to pick one up if I decide to keep this rope. Another thing that I noticed was the kind of the overall feel of the ropes so this one's kind of a softer rope traditional rope material this is almost a plasticky um, rope material supposedly uh, both made in the USA and um, this billet 4x4 comes with a cool little card on it I just noticed it a little bit ago and uh, it says the breaking strength on there is 33,000. Also says the working load limit is 6,600. On this one, it did come with a little card that said it would suggested for vehicles up to 4,200. And I don't remember seeing a working load limit, but I imagine it's probably close to maybe 4,000, something like that. So. The breaking strength on the bubber ropes uh, limited to 19,000, and then this one, like I said, was 33,000. So definitely a considerable difference. But remember, they are the same amount of money on Amazon. They're both 159 bucks to your doorstep. The other thing I noticed was these loops are a little bit different sizes. This one on the billet 4x4 is just a tiny bit smaller. So I bought, I purposely bought a tri-ball hitch receiver so I could get the loop over all three of those. And it would fit really tight on the, um, on the trailer hitch receiver. And this one will go over all three. This one goes pretty much over two and maybe... Over time, I can get it to go over all three of them, but it's not going to fall off by any means. It's definitely one of the things that I noticed. So, I think overall, if you're throwing this in a toolbox or something like that, it probably wouldn't matter that it's considerably bulky. If you're trying to fit it under a seat like I am, it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge. So I do wish Billet 4x4 would throw a Velcro strap in there for free. I don't think it would add a whole lot of costs to them. And basically they could lose a lot of bulk that way too. Anyhow, I do like both of these ropes. Um, still kind of the verdict is out on if I'm going to keep this or not. I'm going to have to figure if, figure out if I can put it underneath my um, my seat for sure. The uh, other thing I was going to talk about was um, the lengths are the same. So 
even though this one's so much more bulky, both of these are um, 30 feet. I think on the Amazon website, this one says 7 8 by 30, and this one says 1 inch by 30 feet. If you notice, though, the closer to the loops here, I would say it's closer to two inches. It might be closer to one inch in the middle where it kind of softens up, but this is definitely a bigger rope for sure. Anyways, I couldn't find any good videos on YouTube that showed the um, kind of the consistency and the clarity that I wanted. Um, before I bought them on Amazon. So hopefully this guy's help, this helps you out for your purchasing decision on Amazon. I'm not sure if anybody has both of these ropes on their wish list like I did. But if you do, this should definitely help you out. Anyways, if you got any questions, let me know. One other quick note is uh, I would say this would be this rope would be more for like a one ton or a three quarter ton of vehicle for the billet four by four. And then this one would probably be closer to a half ton. My um, original plan was to keep this in my Honda Passport and then keep this in my truck. But my truck's only a half ton. This might be a little overkill for it, but... I still think that I'm going to try to keep it if I can figure out how to decrease that bulk a little bit. Anyways, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Catch you on the next one. Peace.